Um, I am a self-appointed queen of dialysis. I like to rule my dialysis machine. Um, I went into kidney failure when I was 14 years old, which is 19 years ago now, um, and I can't have a kidney transplant. So I live and survive by dialyzing myself on this beautiful, huge dialysis machine um, pretty much every night at home overnight while I sleep, carefully supervised by Archie the cat. Um, in my previous talk, I'm not going to obviously cover it again, but I talked about the fact that for many dialysis patients, kidney disease is really, really tough. When your kidneys fail, it isn't just that your body can no longer clean the blood and actually remove toxins to that keep, that, you know, the kidneys keep you alive, but it's not just that. Um, your kidneys interact with all the systems and all the organs in your body, so they affect your bones, they affect your brain, your memory, your concentration, they affect your digestion, they affect your joints, they massively affect your energy. So people with kidney disease are chronically fatigued and, and yet they don't look ill. And that's one of the challenges. And actually, when I spoke at the original TED conference, I talked about how lucky I am to do my dialysis at home and to be able to do six or seven hours every night as compared to the people who have to go to hospital. And they can only do four hours three times a week. So that's having some level of kidney function for four hours three times a week. The rest of the time, their body is just accumulating toxins and they just feel awful. But they don't look ill and it's really quite challenging for them to sort of try and survive and function and get on with everyday life when they're managing with this really tough disease. And one of the things that for me came out of doing the last TED talk was that that was the first time I went onto a really public, quite high profile platform and shared my story of doing home dialysis. And how lucky I am and what a great experience I have of dialyzing in that way. And it put me in touch with a lot of kidney patients all around the world, in fact, who found the talk and contacted me and shared their stories. And it was very humbling and very inspiring to hear from different people who are all managing with this disease. And you are always a kidney patient. So we all hear about the organ donation list and everybody appealing for people to become donors. But even if you have a kidney transplant, it doesn't fix everything. Hopefully it will be great and you will do really well, but that transplant probably won't last forever. And you will be taking an awful lot of very aggressive, strong medication to keep the transplant working. So even when you have a transplant, it's not a solution. So kidney patients, they're a tough crowd. They're um, really strong, really positive people. Um, and they're dealing with a lot. And actually, it's also a fairly hidden disease, but it's more common than you think. So probably most people here or maybe you yourselves may have some degree of kidney disease and may have some awareness of this. So my, my last talk was really enlightening for me when I thought, actually, I am so passionate about spreading the message about kidney awareness and about home dialysis, and I want to help more patients to feel empowered to care for themselves. Home dialysis is fairly scary as a thought. As you can see, it's a complicated machine. Your blood is in the machine going around um, a pump all night. You've got needles in your arm. You do feel, you know, that's fairly vulnerable. There are lots of things that you feel could go wrong. So for a lot of patients, home dialysis is a fairly daunting prospect. And a lot of them aren't even offered the choice for various reasons. Their unit or their hospital just don't offer them that opportunity.